Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Very comfortable outside right now. We have a, another comfortable day on the way before the humidity begins to return to southern New England. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, three different radar sweeps. Looking at our skies, all indicating it's nice and quiet. Threat tracker for today, low chance of anything severe. Same for tomorrow and same for Friday, although there might be a couple of showers in there. I'm not expecting anything severe. Narragansett right now, we've got lots of people on the beach and in the water, 74 degrees. Relative humidity very low at 49% with a wind from the northwest at 6. And in Providence, we have blue skies dotted with some puffy cumulus clouds, 74. Wind from the northwest at 9, gusting to 20 miles an hour and still very dry there as well. 76 in Westerly, out on Black Island, 70. 74 in New Bedford, Taunton, 74. Satellite radar picture is really quiet across all of southern New England. You look closely, you can kind of see some clouds kind of gathering in here across New York State. A couple of uh, brief showers may develop and work their way into western Massachusetts this afternoon, but I think we'll be dry here in southern New England. High pressure for the most part in control of our weather. Take note of this weather system off to our west, though. It's going to work its way into the northeast, spilling some clouds into southern New England late in the night tonight and to start the day tomorrow. I think the rain stays away tomorrow off to our north and west, but we'll be finding some clouds around from time to time, especially in the morning. Let's track it with our future cast, taking you into the uh, mid afternoon sunshine dotted with a few of those clouds hanging around. Uh, mainly clear tonight into the evening, but notice late in the night clouds arriving. So we're going to start the day tomorrow with some extra clouds, but notice what happens by afternoon. We're looking at sunshine, so clouds to sun for Thursday. And notice no green blobs, so we're looking at a dry day for you tomorrow as well. Tomorrow night there could be some rain showers around late in the night, but the daylight uh, looks like it'll be dry for today. 80 degrees, sunny, dry, low humidity, winds from the southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour. For tonight, very comfortable still. Overnight low temperatures, about 60 degrees. Uh, mainly clear in the evening, but the clouds will be arriving after midnight. So we'll start the day tomorrow with some clouds, but then we'll begin to see a little bit of clearing as we go through the uh, late morning and into the afternoon. About 81 degrees tomorrow. Still pretty comfortable with that relatively low humidity, and the winds will be fairly busy tomorrow from the southwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Here's your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 seven-day future cast. Closer look at your Thursday. Day, starting out in the uh, upper 60s, climbing to about 80 degrees, a little bit more in the way of sun uh, during the afternoon. Friday, uh, we might actually have a couple of showers around first thing, but uh, overall looks like a dry day. Saturday, we are looking at the humidity around. Uh, fairly warm and humid with some morning fog at the coast, small risk of a, a thunderstorm uh, during the uh, afternoon, perhaps into the early evening, mainly inland. Sunday, looking pretty good. Uh, we got a couple of showers there, but uh, 84 Four degrees is the uh, high temperature. The best chance of those showers probably late in the day. Most of the day on Sunday looks dry and it looks dry as we head into the holiday. What's that on Tuesday in yep. the uh, 80s? Meteorologist Tony Petrarch is in later today on Eyewitness News Live at 5 with your updated 4th of July forecast. All right, thank you, TJ. Now in stories coming up new tonight, starting live at 5. Four year old boy recovering two weeks after a golf ball hit him in the head. It nearly killed him. His family says thousands of prayers. The work of one surgeon and one decision by their father saved his life. New at 5.30 with just days left to go in the session. State legislators said to take up an important bill on sick time pay for Rhode Island workers. New at 6, looking ahead as Bristol ramps up its celebrations for the 4th of July. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. If you're not home by 6, you can get an update on the day's big stories every weeknight on Eyewitness News.